So NVIDIA's Ampere GPU powered GeForce RTX 30 series, which will initially include the high-end RTX 3090 and RTX 3080, is reportedly launching in September. Claims are coming from Igor's lab. Now, Igor's claims are based upon information from his sources and previous schedules of all other major launches from NVIDIA. As per the report, NVIDIA is allegedly preparing two Ampere powered GeForce graphics cards, the GeForce RTX 3090 and the RTX 3080. Now there are rumors about the specifications that we've covered, but the RTX 3080 and 3090, which seem to indicate both cards will be making use of the GA102 GPU, but vastly different configurations. But before we talk about how these cards stack up to each other, let's take a look at the expected launch time frame. Now, Igor reports that the Ampere GeForce RTX 30 series is currently going through the DVT phase, which is done for the design and validation test. Based on this information, Igor has laid out the full roadmap of NVIDIA's Ampere graphics cards for the consumer market. The full timetable can be seen in the article link below or on screen right now. As you can see, the DVT phase is followed by the WS or working sample phase, and that's when we can start to see early configurations and performance leaks. The WS phase will initiate between early to mid of July. One key consideration is that the final BIOS for the GPUs won't be available until the beginning of August, so any early performance numbers leaks that we get won't simply show the final graphics performance of the Ampere-powered GeForce RTX 30 lineup. The mass production of the cards will begin in August, and not to everyone's surprise, Igor has mentioned that NVIDIA will host a media event for its next generation launch in September, along with the first benchmarks as well. This means that we can have both the media event and performance reviews of said cards by September 2020 at the earliest. Also notice how the media event is mentioned and not public event for the cards themselves. NVIDIA is likely to host both, but a public event can come earlier around Gamescom 2020 at the end of August where the cards will be presented for the first time to the public along with launch details while media will be briefed later on this specific architecture. Specifications and performance plans for the cards themselves, it seems to mention that the Founders Edition cooler we saw earlier is not final and is actually being developed by two different OEM partners who NVIDIA has worked with in the past. There have been reports of the cooler costing upwards to around $150 US, but I believe that may not be the case. But a premium cooling solution for the Founders Edition cards is expected, which would utilize exotic materials and technology compared to the traditional graphics cards coolers. With that said, let's talk about the two cards, the GeForce RTX 3080 and the GeForce RTX 3090, and see where they stack up. So NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 naming scheme is simple. It will replace the RTX 2080 while offering performance equal to or better than the RTX 2080 Ti. But the addition of the GeForce RTX 3090 has made the lineup slightly more confusing. Or has it? You see, NVIDIA's 90 series nomenclatures has historically been reserved for dual chip configurations, but since the Titan Z, which was launched back in 2014, NVIDIA hasn't made any dual card chip. The flagship spot has since been taken up by the TI series cards such as the 2080 TI, the 1080 TI, 980 TI. The TI offerings are a step up from the standard non-TI offerings powered by the better GPU configuration, more memory, and better performance. But the 9 seems to be the indicator of ultra enthusiast products that we've seen these days. We've seen the Ryzen 9, the Threadripper 3990X, the Core i9 from Intel, and AMD is expected to revamp their branding for the next generation RDNA 2 GPUs based on the RX graphics cards later launching later this year. So NVIDIA could drop the TI branding in favor of bringing in the 90 series nomenclature back to its cards, but that could still leave room for NVIDIA if they wanted to to release a faster TI variant of the RTX 3080 without using the super lengthy name such as Super Series. Once again, it's advised to wait for more concrete specifications and details from NVIDIA itself, which we'll be getting for sure in the coming months. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.